Hey everyone, it's Heidi here with a weekly Walmart grocery haul along with the haul. I'm going to share simple ingredients that you can customize meal preparations to help you stay on track with your wellness goals. So if you're interested, let's go ahead and jump into the haul. Starting off with the strawberries, I picked up four of these small containers. I picked up a bunch of organic bananas. We still have some left over, but I wanted to go ahead and grab some more for a couple different meals. This is a new try, the Nature Valley Soft Baked Muffin. I grabbed the chocolate chip one. They also had an apple cinnamon and blueberry one. These are only 150 calories. I like to make my own protein bars, but I've heard a lot of great things about the Built Bar, so I decided to give it a go. This is the cookies and cream one. They also had a marshmallow coconut one as well. Let me know if you tried these before. They are 130 calories. This is also a new try, the Just Fruit and Banana Bites. I thought this would be a nice little after dinner snack. So going with our theme this week, simple ingredients, that is also vegan. These are new. I have tried these several times before within the past few weeks. They are bubble gel. If you like the boba drinks that they sell, you'll probably like this as well. It's like a jello. Really good. I highly recommend this. They also have a strawberry and lemonade in that flavor. Some organic blueberries for breakfast. And then I saw these. We love the True Fruit. I've never seen the blueberry parpe poppers before. And I decided to go ahead and see if we like these. I grabbed a container of vanilla coconut milk yogurt. And these are new. I thought this would be good for a quick little lunch for myself. These are exactly the same as the larger bags. These are just mini bags, and it does include everything in the kit that you need to make your salad, which is perfect. It gives you the total calories, so there's no guesswork involved in these mini bags. They did have other flavors. I really wanted to choose some, but they had expiration dates that were way too close for my liking, so I wasn't going to be able to eat it right away. So I like to get things further back in advance. These sweet baby pickles, I've never seen the whole pickles like that. I love pickles. I'm hoping these taste similar to the sweet gherkins and pair that with something for a quick little snack. I got Brody some mac and cheese to make and then I got Alyssa some elbow noodles. So they were having a fall fest at Alyssa's school and they needed some Teddy Graham so I got that for her school and I got these for home. So I make buffalo chicken dip in the crock pot on the weekend. So I just grabbed some more of that and I needed to restock the ranch dressing for that. So I picked this up. It's just easier to go ahead and squeeze and measure out some Chick-fil-A barbecue sauce and then some white cheddar popcorn for Brody. I grabbed this. We've never tried it before, but after workouts for Russell, he's going to go ahead and try this and drink it. This is the Rise. It's loaded with protein, has MCT oil in there. So really great option. Hopefully it tastes really good. So we shall see. So I grabbed this for my lunch. I'll take a veggie burger and go ahead and pair that with this or maybe like a quick dinner when Russell wants to have his shake. This is a whole serving and it's 220 calories. And these are new. These are also a deal on Ibotta. I thought I would give this a go. I do like the Lean Cuisine. These are the balance bowls. You get $1.50 back. And I like the ones that don't have any of the meat in there. They're not always really good with those. Um, I'm just really picky. It's 240 calories. Um, and let's see, the sodium is pretty high though. So you just have to watch that intake. And then I got this one as well. This is a Tex-Mex rice and black beans. So I'm really excited to try both of these. They actually look really yummy. Which one would you try? So I got the Sister Schubert's rolls for some Chick-fil-A copycat breakfast. Got my kids the extra big bag of those. And I got the chicken fries and the popcorn chicken. And for the Chick-fil-A copycat, I use this popcorn chicken. I popped that in the air fryer these fruity pebble crisps for Alyssa so she can have for her snack time at school. With the bananas we are going to be doing like a banana split minus the ice cream. So I grabbed some vanilla almond crisp for that and we're going to do some Cool Whip and honey and peanut butter. Just little different toppings. Brody requested Skittles. They did not have the kind he wanted so I grabbed him the sour gummies. So I have some non-food items. Alyssa is going to a birthday party so I got a card and some gift wrap to put her gift in. 
And then I got these for Russell. He needed a pack of clear spoons. And this is new. I thought this would be perfect for Alyssa. This is color changing toothpaste. They change from blue to pink when it's clean. And then the brush to go along with this. And when you need to replace the brush itself, it's going to turn to white. So that's pretty cool. Got some more storage bags. I needed this size. And then I'm going to put the fries and a couple other things in this gallon one um, freezer bag got these for myself and then for Brody some Epsom salt. I purchased this on a previous shopping trip. You can make beignets, pancakes, or waffles out of this mix which I'm really excited to try all three of them out and you do need some sort of canola oil blend or canola oil to make the pancakes and the waffles. You don't need that for the beignets, I don't believe. I'm not too sure. I didn't read the instructions on that, but I will later on. So I'm going to be pouring that into the bowl and just adding water slowly. I'm going to use this whisk that I got at the Dollar Tree. So if you're interested in seeing that haul, I'll add that in the description box. Take a guess at which one of my kids love these and, of course, the one that did not. Next, we're going to be getting into the egg maker machine. This egg maker machine can make a ton of different varieties from boiled eggs to soft boiled to omelets. And that is what we're going to do today. We're going to make some hard boiled eggs and I'm also going to make some omelets to prep for my breakfast for four days. Coating the container with the nonstick cooking spray. I'm just doing a basic egg and cheese, adding a little salt and pepper. I knew I had about four or five slices left of this cheese, so I wanted to go and use that up for these omelets. So you're just gonna put that on top and let it cook. Here, cut them up, and then I'm gonna take this pizza ranch chop kit. I'm not going to use the dressing that it comes with. It's probably really good. I'm going to save that for this weekend with my pizza and add it to the other bag that I bought. I'm going to be using this one. This is my favorite dressing that I've been obsessed with. So I'm going to go ahead and add that into the this little cup right here and prep my salad. Here's the dressing that I'm going to save for the extra with crouton crumbles and Parmesan cheese. Let's place the egg here and it literally just cuts the entire egg and you're done. I'm also adding a tomato and avocado. For me personally, prepping fruit, produce, different things just make it easier for me to get things done. This is definitely not happening all on the same day. So this is the next day and you guys will not believe how dirty this water was after I washed all these strawberries. Absolutely disgusting. Wobbles are done, eggs are cooling down. I had one more slice of cheese from my omelet, so I decided to slice those up and just put that in my salad. Then I also had the other half of the avocado and the tomato, so I put those in a bowl and I added the Chick-fil-A dressing to it. Here are my omelet. I'm just gonna take this and pop that in the microwave in the morning. I'm also gonna take this and make some parfaits for myself, two for me, and then Russell wants just a basic blueberry and strawberry no yogurt in his but i'm going to use the yogurt in mine i'm going to add in both of the blueberry blends in both of ours and see how that goes i'm hoping that the parfait poppers are really yummy and then i'm just going to cut up these strawberries and this is the size of the poppers they're actually pretty big so i got my parfaits and then i have russell's berries and i added some true fruit in there got those prepped up and i'm going to put everything away here I'm gonna try to make this and see what this tastes like. So I'm only adding in two ingredients. One is a frozen banana. There are two here. I'm using the other one for Russell for dinner and unsweetened almond milk and this was amazing. I hope you found today's video helpful. Enjoyed the haul and the preps as always. I wanna thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.